In this tutorial, we'll show the setup process of Apple Low Latency HLS output stream in NimbleStreamer and we'll check the playback. We will use an instance of NimbleStreamer previously installed on Amazon EC2. We have a video about it, check description for details. Also, this instance has SSL certificate installed and working on port 443. Here you can see it in NimbleConfig. There's an article about its setup and we'll have a separate video about it as well. Check description for more information. To start the Apple Low Latency HLS setup, first we need to enable HTTP2 in Nimble Streamer. Open Nimble Config and add a respective parameter. You should also enable access logs. You will need them later on to check if low latency HLS is served. Restart Nimble after adding new parameters into the config. Now let's enable low latency HLS for Nimble Live Output. Go to WMS Panel Nimble Streamer Live Stream Setup page. You may enable it on the server level and on individual application level. First enable fragmented MP4 container for HLS. Second, check the enable Apple low latency HLS box and enter part duration. In this example, we use one second part duration. Now we start the ffmpeg command to generate a sample RTMP input stream to test the LLHLS output. We have previously set up RTMP input interface and our global setting allows publishing without user and password. Open outgoing streams page to get the URL of the result stream. Now let's try the stream on the iPhone. Use Safari browser to open the stream. You can see it's playing. And here you can see the latency between a world clock and our device. For our part length of one second with four chunks in the playlist and a server running in a different country, the latency is less than five seconds. Now let's see what we got in our server logs. We can see HLS parts requested and obtained by iPhone via HTTP2 protocol. Check video description for all related information. 